the No Fate channel, checking in. On today's episode of Dad's Gadgets, I am reviewing this Fifine K678 condensing USB microphone. Um, if you're new to this channel, if you're new to this series, I review a gadget, something that comes across my desk or something that I have found useful in my everyday life to hopefully help you, give you information to help you decide if it's something that might be right for you. In a previous video, I reviewed a Fifine desk microphone um, that I thought was very, very good, had really good value and good um, versatility for anyone that was doing podcasting, voiceovers, uh, Twitch TV, a myriad of other issues that they would need a, mic a good quality microphone for. Fifine, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing their name correctly, to be quite honest, they reached out to me and asked if I would review before they actually released this on Amazon, their USB condensing K678 that they have yet to release yet. So I said, hey, if this is my year, this is my big year where I just say yes to everything. So I said, send it over and I will give an honest review. So I did get this for free, but of course I am going to do an honest review as always. So a very quick unboxing about what, for what you get for once you purchase this. Um, first and foremost, you get a very long, you guys probably can't see it here, it's a quite a long USB cord. Um, which is actually nice because it gives you some versatility and range about where you actually set this up um, in relationship to your laptop or desktop. Um, also, you get this, this stand, which actually has some pretty good weight to it, and these two connectors. And then, of course, the main thing that you get is this microphone, this Fifine microphone. It has two sides. It has this side that shows you power. It also gives you a mute button. It has the back side, which, of course, is going to give you your headphone volume and your microphone volume, and then the bottom side. Now this has the power connector, which is uh, this USB plug right here, and it has your room for your headphone jack, and it has a mount if you have a different type of mount that you might want to connect this to. Um, very easy to connect. You simply just kind of screw it in on these sides with, sides with these hand screws. Um, that's it, that's all you get in the box. But what do you get in the microphone? So uh, I plugged this in. I used this a number of times. and I actually did some voiceover because I do YouTube videos, as you can tell. And mo many of my YouTube videos actually require voiceover where I put up video and then while the video is running, I talk over it. Um, and I was able to use this and the audio quality exceptionally well. I was overly impressed with the audio quality. Um, very smooth, very crisp, very clear. The No Fate Channel, checking in. And today I thought it would be a good time to talk about the Z-Moon car cover. I've seen a bunch of these advertised on Amazon online. Essentially, if you park your car outside, you live in an area that has snow, um, you're able to cover your windshield overnight when you know it's going to snow or rain and then freeze so that in the morning, you don't have to actually chisel all of that junk off of your windshield. Let's quickly go over some pros and cons with respect to this microphone based on my personal use. First and foremost, in no particular order, a pro is that this is heavy. Now, I personally associate heavy with high quality, um, so that thing's got some serious weight to it, even though it probably doesn't come across it in this video. Second, and probably most important to you, is the audio quality. I found the audio quality to be excellent. I mean, I can't say it enough. I was doing voiceover work, typically with some of my YouTube videos, I put up video, and while the video was running, I do voiceover work, and the sound quality was exceptional. Um, and keep in mind, I use a desktop, which you probably can't see. Um, let me just, I'm going to swing this around. I use this monster desktop, okay? This thing has seven fans on it, and um, I actually have it on top of my desk. Now, the reason I have it on top of my desk is because when I had it underneath my desk, even though it was a lot quieter, it picked up so much dust it was ridiculous so for the sake of the longevity of my computer i put it on top of my desk so the fact that my audio quality with this microphone on my desk right next to right next to um a seven fan huge desktop kind of really bodes well to how good the quality of this microphone is i mean really really good i'm not an audio expert by any stretch of the imagination but just from from using it I thought it was exceptional audio quality. So I thought the audio quality was exceptionally well, and I probably have worst case use scenario with respect to that massive desktop I just showed you. 
Um, let's talk about a few cons with this. It is heavy and it is, it's fairly big. It's fairly big to give you perspective. So if you are hoping to have something to travel with, um, this might be, while not impossible to travel with, this might be a little bit heavier and a little bit bigger than you might want to do if you plan to travel minimally with say a laptop and do podcasts from the road or podcasts from different locations out and about. Um, another thing that I wish they had included is kind of like a, like a, like a spit sock. I don't know, I don't know the correct audio term for it. Um, a few things because I have this on my desk and if you tend to get too close to it, and if you're like me with your vocabulary and you, you tend to really over pronounce your P's and your S's, um, that can really get picked up on a microphone in general. And this is no different. If they had included like a little wind sock, spit sock, whatever shield, um, that would be a nice little bit of a bonus for those of us who get a, who have a small space and have to be close to the microphone in general. Um, ideally, you know, ideally with these microphones is that you don't actually have them on your desk, that you have them above where you're actually speaking. Um, and this has a connector where you, if you did have the correct setup, you could kind of hang this from one of those such uh, instruments. So you actually have this microphone above your face and you wouldn't get as much popping and as much S's and popping um, when you do speak into it, when you do use it. Um, and another pro, another con on this, I should say a pro and a con, is that it hasn't been released yet. I don't know what the price point is. I am going to guess that it is going to be between $40 and $50 based on um, market research that I've done and what's out there and what fee fine price points typically are for their microphones and the quality of that microphone. I'm going to guess it's between $40 and $50. Would I pay $50 for this microphone? Maybe. Would I pay $40 for this microphone? Definitely. So I think the real cutoff price point for me personally, and I tend to be a cheapskate, uh, is the $45 mark. I would say that if this costs more than $45 when it is released, don't bother to buy it. The competition is too high um, and you can get a lot more bang for your buck depending on what your uses are. If it's under $45, then yeah, the quality dictates that you probably should pick this one up and it's gonna be a good quality microphone for you. If you have any questions regarding this Fifine K678 condensing USB microphone, drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to get them answered as quickly as possible. If you came to this video, if you came this far in the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, ring that notification bell. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.